Elizabeth Street, little Italy Hangs with his pals, yeah, that's where he'll be It's Vinny, a friend of mine Stand-up guy from the Lower East Side Take it from me, he's one of a kind It's Vinny, Velotime right. Who's better than you? Once again, welcome to Tell It Like It Is The Vinny and Mariana Show Hello, Mariana. everyone. Hi, Vinny. Hello, baby. How, How are, are you? Always a pleasure. Same here. You know, last last week, um, we... Um, we ran out we, of time. We ended the show. We ran out of time. So Somewhat we abruptly. Vinny Parko <laughs> back again. Yes. But before I we, we introduce Vinny Parko again, I want to I want to mention a, a place that Vinny and I went to a couple of weeks ago. Okay. I, I'm not going to... I don't, I don't want to say the play. I don't want to get wind up getting sued. So, um, but the place was on 7th Avenue <laughs> and uh, in the village. And this, I could say the guy's name, I think it was Jerry. Jerry or something like that. Okay. And um, this guy was a real greaseball if I ever met one. You know? Uh -oh. And here we were. I'm there, I'm there to, to talk to him about maybe possibly coming on the show hmm. or maybe us doing a the show. There, in there. On location, yeah. And, uh, oh, I love the idea. Oh, it sounded so good. Uh, what do you want to do? You know, all this stuff. So after we talked and everything, I didn't give him a date yet. I said, I'll get in touch with you and I'll give you a date. And I, you know, he goes, okay, what are you and your friend to drink? So uh, we have a glass of red wine. He says, do me a favor. Give them a, uh, give them a drink. So we, uh, we had a drink and then we had a little something to eat. Okay. Not only, did we ha not only did he give us a check for the drinks that he offered us, but he charged us for everything. Every little thing that we had. Oh, gave me an espresso, and I asked him for a single espresso. I got a double espresso. And a lot of people don't know that when you give an espresso, you're supposed to put a little piece of lemon skin on the end of it just to take the bite off of it. They didn't know what the hell they were doing in this place. Very uncomfortable. They only served beer and wine, but they had a bottle of vodka underneath the tape. Ah, I see that. <laughs> yeah. You know, that they, you know, I don't want to... But this guy was a real greaseball if I ever met one. And uh, wow. charges us for everything. So I called them up. You did? Yeah, I called up the place. So, because I didn't have time to go down there, because I told you I was going to go down there. And if I would have went down there, it possibly would have been a problem. But he says, oh, yeah, I remember you. You're coming with your friend. I said, yeah. Uh, you, 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 you have the day you wanted me to come on the show? I said, do I have the day I want, do I, that I want you to come on the show? I said, if you remember when I came there with my friend, we were talking and talking to him. You said you would want to come on the show. You liked the idea. They said, then you asked us what we were drinking. We told them. You told the bartender, give them two drinks over here. Gave us a drink. You charge us for the drinks. You charge us for everything. He goes, I charge you? Yeah, you charge us. Oh, well, then maybe the check wasn't meant for you. Wasn't meant for me. Everything that I had was on that check. Was there somebody else that, <laughs> that ate the same exactly thing? That ordered exactly the same thing. Me and my friend ate. She says, I didn't know that they, they did this. Oh, you didn't know. He says, so you have a, you, what do you want to do? You want to come over here and do the show, or you want me to come oh. to your show? I said, listen, let me not tell you where I'd like you to go. Oh, boy. So uh, then I just hung up on him. Because if I would have went down to that little twerp, I would have punched his face in. Yeah, been lucky. But then again, I, I wanted to go back down, because that little blonde was a little cutie in there. Uh, you know? Well, that that was the attraction to go into the place, not the fool, the blonde. Well, yeah, well, she was a little hottie. Yeah, she was you know, she was a little pretty one, you know? Mm -hmm. And I was going to go back, but then unfortunately, I, I, you know, I, I was busy. Mm. Fortunately, I was busy, and I didn't have time to go down. But now you're telling me that he fired her. Yeah, that and little. the cook. I, that's what I found out, uh, Tatiana said, he fired this guy, but that guy, he was the, pr I don't know. What was I, I don't think, you know, I don't think I, She was doing the bartending, but there was nothing to bartend. Wine and beer, you don't really need a bartender. No, you yeah. don't. But all the waitresses were going behind the bar making drinks. I, I mean, know, one, that I seen. That was crazy. I have one person behind the bar, let everybody do their waiting. Wait, waiting yeah. the tall, but how long has he name? had this place? Tatiana? No, the tall one was Olga, I think. Who? Olga. Olga. Now, that one behind the bar, I recognized her. I recognize her like when I came in. Well, Tatiana, Did I meet her once yeah, before? Yeah, she worked for me. She's a, she was on the show with you. She's one of my private eyes. 
Oh, see, that's how. About four, five, uh, One of the private eyes that Vinny yeah. works with. Yeah, we have. That so even needed before Vinny. that? Yeah, then, of course. Yeah. She looks like cool. Don Marino's. Now, Don Marino's, you should, well, you, you did a show for Don, with Don Marino. I mm -hmm. did. Oh. Well, but that oh, was that another was story. Trip. I know, I was that there. I was there. It was wild. <laughs> I went to, well, you were there. I oh. was there, but I had to I leave early for rehearsal. Funny. We did a show at Don Marino's. First of all, we told him to be there at 6.30. He mm -hmm. showed up at 8.30. Eight. Way after I left. 8.30, 9 o'clock. Yeah. He didn't know, and his wife said to me, uh, he's on medication right now, so, you know, you have to uh, have a little patience with him. Have a little patience with him. He was, that whatever he was on. He, he's, he's got a... a CPOD, one of those oh emphysema. He's got, he's got very sick, you know. Yeah, but then he got in front That's of the camera sickness. and he wanted everybody in front of the camera with him. Yeah, no, yeah. And, put, and then he's looking at the camera and he's talking to so <laughs> And I had, a, I had, you a, had to translate. I, I had to stop him every once in a while <laughs> and translate in English what he was saying. And he kept bringing people on and all. And then he's getting up and he's walking away. Then he comes back and he brings three or four other people in there. I said, it's never going to work. No. You know what? I'm just going to get the tape and give it to him and let him do what he wants with it. Yeah. You know, because... Uh, a lot of editing. A lot of editing. Yeah, you know. But, yeah. you know, I I don't want to get into it. But his it. intentions just, were good. Yes. The what? His Absolutely. intentions were his good. His intentions were good. Oh, they were really good. And we good. love that except place. None, none, of it, none of it was in English, <laughs> except for what I said. Well, you, you must know? have a lot of... People watching the show, they're Italian. Uh, 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 I had a well. If they were if they were Italian, they understood. Mm. And if they didn't, I translated right, it in good. English. Anyway, maybe with the gestures. Gestures. Yeah. So anyway, okay. so now I'm not going to that place more on Seventh Avenue. Me neither. Don't worry about it. <laughs> you know? I, I respect so, for you. Uh, I'm not going. But I still Aww. like to go by. I still would like to go by just to. Because of. The bus chops. Yes. Yeah. Just the bus chops. Oh, I thought you were going to say because of the blonde. No, she she's gone. She's oh, gone. that's right. The oh, man, got I wish she was there. Well, she was new. She didn't know what she was doing. They could have trained her. But how long has he had that place? Not that long. Ah, months. that's Not why. Long. Yeah, it's Because it comes from the management. It's not a very big place. No, but it's a nice place. Purity is good. Yeah. Food was good. The place was... Just something, something was missing. Something yeah. was... Because mm. the other place... A new owner, a different owner. That's what was well, missing. Well, the management. It's not being run I don't, properly. I don't know. But I had that, that guy, Tony, in his band. Oh, that, they're great. Those two guys. Yeah, that uh, jazz band. Yeah. I have them coming on my show. Oh, you good. do? Yeah. You didn't yeah. tell me. Oh, that's he's got a nice voice. Really nice voice. Nice voice. Fabulous. On the, uh, 29th, uh, I think. At the end of the month? At the end of the month. Great. 28th, 29th. 28th is on a Saturday, 29th. Okay. Monday, right. Very good. Great. I love him. I love him. Oh, man, yeah. he was great. You know? And, uh, yeah, so I'm going to have them. I'll give you more information Perfect. on that. But since and, you were already talking about Tatiana and the private investigators that work for you, yeah. What do you look for when you hire someone? All right, the girl, the, the bartender at the Don Marino, she's uh, the blonde, mm. Helena. The bartender. The bartender. In the, 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 the girl. Yeah. Okay. So she asked me, she says, what is the first prerequisite for a female to work for you? I said, you got to have at least double Ds. She goes, double I got Ds. Ds. I said, okay, you're hired. <laughs> oh, oh, boy. Man. They get in the way. <laughs> Not in my way. <laughs> Hey. No, that, that no but seriously, that's my not no, yeah, uh, 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 bar my baby Female blush. bartenders, I, I find, make good, good investigators because huh. they've got to be quick. quick. They're talking to people all the time, uh. and, you know, you're, you're dealing with nice people and you're dealing with assholes. You know, you got to be, you know, you got to know how to talk to them and get information from them. And I find that uh, the, the, uh, some of them are pretty good. You know, they're good people. They're people people. People people. Yeah, yeah people well, people. I'll tell you, Mariana <laughs> people is not a double D, but well, she is okay, sharp. But I'll and Listen, she is sharp <laughs> and she is good. Let me tell you something. Mm. I have standards. They're low, but I got standards. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take a B and A. Yeah. As long as it's in the alphabet, I'm happy. You know? uh, as long as it. But oh, seriously, uh, you, you want somebody that has a little ingenuity, mm -hmm. creative, you know, something that. Uh, I have one girl, I would love to have her on the show. She's a girl, she's a Barbie doll. She's gorgeous, Barbie doll. When you talk to her, she's a total ditz. Is this the one I know? Never met her. <laughs> I, 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 left, I kept away from you, okay? <laughs> he, I kept he away from you. He already knows how you work. But I gotta tell you something. I have put her on a number of cases. Yeah. She's like a laser. Whatever case I've given her, she did better than anybody else. I mean, she's just, some people, 
you know, she might be like a goofy blonde, but when it comes to work, she's like, boom. Mm. I'll give you an example. Focus. We had a case. It was in the newspaper, but our names weren't in there. A lot of the cases, we have a lot of high-profile cases that are, you see in the paper every day, but our names aren't in there. Unless what the client exactly wants... What do they have to do? Well, I'll give you an example. This guy was a rabbi, okay? And he was said, and the wife wanted us to catch him with a, with a woman because he said he was so religious. And then, on, you know, they have the Sabbath. And mm. so one of the girls uh, called him up, and we knew that he went to a particular uh, brothel. Mm. Went to a brothel. So we had uh, the, one of the girls, one of my Russian girls, called him up. Hi, I'm Elena. I'm with the Angel Spa. And I know you're a customer. I'm opening my own place now. I want you to come. I want you to be my first customer for free. Oh, oh, oh. He was ah, okay. Oh, my god. So he met with the girl. And he said, oh, okay. I, you know, she says, no, not tonight. Some other night. So we, had, we opened the door. And that sucker went for that? Yeah. We got him in a hotel, <laughs> in the Pan American Hotel. And um, uh, the whole idea was, wasn't that he was cheating, because they were separated. The whole idea was that he is claiming that he's so religious and that he's with... You know, mm. so I put one of my guys in. Uh, so we put a camera in there in the room. This girl walks in. We have the adjoining rooms. Mm. This girl walks in with him, and I told her, I said, when uh, oh, when the camera broke, I put one of my a big guy, six foot three, about two forty. I put him in a closet with a camera. I said, listen, when the girl says, "Oi, Poppy, you come out and get a video," and when next door we have the keys. If we have to, we'll rush in because I mean, he's not, he's not, he's a, he's a rabbi. He's not, gonna, he's not a violent guy. Mm -hmm. He might throw the yarmulke at him or something. Yeah, know, but you, you know. never know. Hit him with a lock you know, yeah. or something. <laughs> so I said, I said to, uh, I said, to, so the guy's in the closet waiting for, for this, and the girl's not saying anything. And she's Spanish. This girl, Jessica, who's gorgeous, <coughs> he saw her. He thought she was the madam. He saw her saw on the way her. in. On the way on in, the way he said, "Oh, yeah. hi, how are you?" You know, that, 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 with the girl. And he said, "Am I going to have her?" And she said, "Am I have? Am I have you?" And she says, "No, no, no, no. She says, You're going to have this girl." So there was nothing happening, and my guy can't get out of the closet with the camera. She says, "What?" Well, she takes, she takes the key. She goes in the room. Hey, hi, everybody, having fun? Ah. She goes on the other side of the bed, so he could look at her, and he's looking at her. And my guy comes out of the closet, and he's videotaping. There's no, there's no walls. It's one room, mm -hmm, like this, mm -hmm, one big room. Mm -hmm. And he's right over him, and he's doing his thing. And he sees, uh, when he sees my he, girl. Does he see him? No. 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 He, if he's he went so, like this, he would have saw him. Yeah. He could have smelled him. Yeah. But he was so enthralled with He was Jessica. concentrating on the whole so thing. So watching, he's watching Jessica, and you can see. Now, wait a second. Now, Jessica wasn't doing anything. No, the, guy, the girl was. She was playing with him. But okay. when he saw Jessica... So it wasn't Jessica, it was another girl. Right. right. That so was Jessica, she's so hot-looking that okay. his penis rose on the videotape. You could see it. Yeah. It was so funny. And so the girl is doing whatever she has to do to him, and she's and he's talking to her like, oh, oh, oh wow, you're beautiful. Yeah, 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 and my guy's filming it, right? He was filming it for four minutes and 57 seconds, almost five minutes. Mm. So then she gets up. She goes, well, I got to leave. So he, that's his cue. He goes back in the closet, closes the door, and she leaves. As she, le oh, as, as she gets up, his penis went, whoosh, went down. Yeah. He backs up into the closet. She leaves, and he's not, getting, he's not leaving the room. Oh, boy. He's there with the girl. He's going for, I guess, seconds or thirds. I don't know. Just, I said, what are we going to do? We got the guy in a closet, in a little closet, big guy. Without saying anything, she goes, watch this. Give me the key again. She takes one of my guys, come with me. She walks into the room with the guy. Say, I'm sorry, guys, I have a new customer. You guys got to leave. <laughs> so the, the rabbi is there. He's like, and my friend, the guy who went over says, I felt so bad. He's putting the socks on and his underwear. But, and, and so then we got, we got it all on tape. And then we gave it to the client uh -huh, and the lawyer. Uh -huh. And what happened was that when they went to court, they settled because they said, we want this, you know, we got, we got them. Right. Seven months later, the wife, she violated the order. She gave it to the New York Post and they had it, oh. and they had a picture of the rabbi in the bed. But they had, my girl was face was digital. You couldn't see the face. And, they, you know, what are you going to do? Yeah. So now this girl that actually was in the room yeah. with him. Yeah. So she did something with it. Oh, him. yeah, she, she, she so did. So where'd you get a hooker? Yeah, he got some hooker, yeah.
He got some milk or you no, got no, some milk? No, no, it was a dancer from a club. But mm. he, he, he oh, wanted to, you know. I whatever. see, I see. Wow. Yeah. So we, we, that's what we call a sting. Mm -hmm. we do I'll a never give you my, my home <laughs> phone number. Right I already have that. it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, we, one of the things that I, I, I've done over the years is these stings. We would set up situations. Mm. Uh, we had a guy, a uh, big real estate guy. He had a company that was given, uh, was doing some sort of illegal co competition. So what we did was we set up a web. We had a guy build a website for a British American real estate company. And we had a phone number in England. I, I rented a, a, a company. I could rent a phone number <laughs> in England, put on the website. Mm -hmm. we, uh, we rented a, a wall, uh, not the wall, I think the wall office, though, we rented a big suite. We have this big real estate meeting or something. And we set this, these guys, and we, all we wanted them on tape making the offer that they could not supposed to do. Mm. It was something with title insurance or something. And I can't tell you all the exact thing, but. Right. And if you prepare it correctly, it, it works. And it's like preparing a show, mm -hmm. preparing a, a movie. Mm -hmm. You have to have all the elements in order mm -hmm. right. so that nothing goes wrong. So it takes 90% uh, perspiration and 10% <laughs> inspiration. <laughs> and we've been, we, we, we did, Pretty good with that. Every once in a while, yeah. Has one ever backfired? Yes, you, we yeah. had one last year to backfire. I won't talk about oh. it. <laughs> well, no, well, how it backfired was um, the woman uh, that we were trying to sting. Mm. Um, she called the cops in Jersey, and they tracked the 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 the, 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 the sting we had. They actually called the, the network up, and the network said, "We don't know these people." We had a whole thing with one of the networks because oh. I actually do. I use their studio sometimes when I do some. You know, I do a lot of, um, I call them talking heads, you know, talk, they have criminal cases, I'll, I'll get on CNN, I'll talk about uh, the case, of missing, uh, Casey Anthony, I was on Headline News with Jan mm. Belen Mitchell many times, uh, talking about the Casey Anthony case where the kid's missing and they found the body and all that kind of stuff. So they'll ask me for my expertise and I enjoy doing it, I really do. Um, but so we, we set it up like that, but it just didn't work. I mean, there was no backfire, you know, nothing, you know, it just didn't work, you know. Have you ever had... Have you ever been threatened? I think you threatened me the last show when I, I, I got the age wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you almost you didn't know what? come I back had on. One guy I had somebody threaten me once, and I told him, I said, um, where are you right now? He goes, I'm a I said, why don't you meet me? And you threatened me to my face. Mm. And you never showed up. Nobody, no, you know what? Very real. And keep, keep in mind, when I do a criminal case, a defense case, I'm working for the criminal. Think about yeah. it. I'm working for the guy, I'm trying to exonerate him, trying to get him uh, acquitted from the crime. So um, I don't get involved with people that are going to commit the crime against me or people. Once in a while, you might get, you know, you being, might go in a bad neighborhood or something like that. When I go into a neighborhood like that, I got to be smart. Mm. I'll, I'll bring one of my guy, one of my ex cops with me. Uh, I'll bring somebody with me. And know. how do you go about selecting this, the case that you work on? How does that well, they process select work? Me. They select you. They select me. But, I, but you don't accept every case. You can't. There's no possibility no, to this, do uh, Sometimes you, you, you just, you know, like today I got one. This is interesting. The guy has a ba works with a bakery. He has a, ba a, a bread route. Huh. But he claims he's only a driver. He doesn't want it. Oh, wait, I know who he is. No, you don't no, know. Wait, no, wait, no, 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 no. You know, no. So now I got I to gotta figure, I try to figure out different things. In here. And it's not about, it's not about cheating or anything because they're separated. Mm. It's about he doesn't want to pay child support. And he claims, I only make X amount of dollars when we know he makes 5X dollars. Mm -hmm. So we have to find, we have to get proof that he owns a company that's in someone else's name. We want to get him on tape saying, oh yeah, uh, now how do we do that? We send a beautiful girl in to meet, meet, bump into him. Is this He's, bakery in New, in New York? I just want to know, is it in New York? Queens. Oh, okay. Queens. You want to know the address too? It's on the... <laughs> <laughs> uh, so... He's the type of guy, he's a very flirtatious, like you, he's a flirtatious guy, <laughs> and he will... <laughs> he's not telling you anything new. I this know, is not new information. So, um, the girl will, like, get friendly with him, and then, oh, what do you do? Oh, I'm, I own... You know he's not going to say he's a driver. He's going to say, I own, the, I own this company. I own such mm -hmm. and such company. We'll get it on tape, which is legal. In New York City is a one... New York State is a one-party consent state, which means you do not need the... Pers pers uh, well, you don't need permission from the other side to tape it. Mm. Is that what, what, by him saying that he owns it, 
Is that? That's admissible. Could that but stand I want to get what I want to do is I want to get one, one more person. Um, one of the other drivers or one of the, the one of the people he buys his stuff from. Yeah. Now it's a cash business, so it's hard to prove how much money people make with cash. Right. However, uh, the wife told me approximately what he. That's pretty good. It's a very lucrative business. So what we're going to do is, sometimes he gets checks made out to the the bakery, not to him, and they cash and they give him the cash. That's money laundering. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the bakery. Guess what? You're in trouble. What do you mean I'm in trouble? You're doing business with this guy. I want you to tell me that he's, he's, he owns the company, not that you own. Because their name is on his truck. No, no. You own, he owns it, not you. And, and well, yeah, well, how about the checks that they, they make out to you and you give them back cash? I said, that's money laundering. Now, do you want to get in that kind of trouble? Yeah. All I need you to say is that he owns his own business, and then I'll leave you alone. Because I don't like to make enemies. So he was ratted out? Not yet, not yet. We're still, we're going to work on it. We're still working okay. on it. Hmm. Hmm. You know, I don't tell you too many of my personal things. I know everything about you personally. <laughs> <laughs> He's getting a little, you're getting a little nervous, I aren't know. you? Matter of I fact, I know about your colonoscopy, <laughs> yes. and I'm going to be at the hospital. I'm going to have surgical, I'm going to be dressed up as one of the doctors in there. <laughs> well, knowing that you have to go in and investigate so many people's lives, do you ever get paranoid? Like on the flip side, having having to invade people's yeah, lives and their I, background. I, I Do you care. ever? You, know, you don't care. A, you're only paranoid when you care. Huh. You no. Know? I think I would be a good private investigator. That's what everybody says to me. What do you think? No. <laughs> no. no, 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 no. <laughs> Who would ever suspect me? They'd say, "I don't really know. He's an actor." And then no. just get a oh, that, in that respect, yeah, that would be great. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah. But what about if it's a person that didn't watch one of the shows you're on? Doesn't know you're an actor. Mm -hmm. That didn't watch one of my shows. Didn't watch. I showed him. I showed him my reel. <laughs> That's him, true. Look what I showed him. him my reel. Yeah, she's like, what you carry around? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not much phone. to carry around. It's just a DVD. Mm -hmm. What I find with, with investigations, um, in private or even with detectives and stuff like that, you got to have a, an imagination. Right. The more imaginative you are, the better you are. I'll give you an example. Every time I interview a, 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 a sergeant or a captain or a, a lieutenant when I'm on a job or something. I asked him one question. I said, how many men do you have, or women, how many detectives do you have in your squad? Usually it's 14 in one squad. Mm -hmm. My squad have 14 investigators. Out of your detectives, how many are really good, how many are, and how many are bad? Mm -hmm. I get the same answer from everybody. I don't care if he's a sergeant or a, a squad, com a sergeant or squad commander is like a lieutenant or a lieutenant. And I, even my friend, he's retired from the uh, FBI, uh, Federal, not FBI, but federal, he says the same thing. He says, I got two good guys. I got three or four. No, the okay. same word, nothing. The other ones I got stuck with. They all say the same thing. I got stuck with them. Because everybody's not, you know, not, not everybody's good at what they job. No. And you want to know something? If you ask somebody to work for an accounting firm, let's say a big company firm has like mm -hmm. 200 accountants and you have different divisions, and you ask a, a boss, so you're the supervisor. How many guys you got working for? I got 15 guys. How many of them are really good? Probably say maybe three are really good. Mm -hmm. Four or five are good Sunday, someday. And the rest I got stuck with. It you, goes for any profession. Do you feel sometimes... Don't misinterpret what I'm saying, but do you feel sometimes that you're a rat? You know, that's a good question. Uh, I, 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 nah, not really. Uh, I've, I've, I had someone call me that. <laughs> and I'm not calling you. No, 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 <laughs> Mark, you better not call me. Because then you'll get what the other guy got. No, seriously, um, people that are not intelligent, seriously, are not intelligent, that don't know what we do, because I had my, my friend's husband said that to me once. Oh, you're a private, that means you're a rat. Because he was like, he was a little, half a wise guy to him. Mm. But if he got locked up, I'm the first guy he's going to call right. to help him get out of jail yeah. and to find a witness that's going to get him. Mm -hmm. um, I'll give you an example. Uh, about two years ago, my friend, uh, she just retired uh, from the, the, the Department of Education. She had career day at the, the children's detention home in the mm. Bronx. Spotted? She had, what? Which Not Spotted. There's another one. There's, a, there's, a, there's, a, there's more than one. More than one. Oh, but it's oh. another one. So we had to go to... I, I was there with... Um, uh, this guy, uh, what's his name? He's uh, Bobby Stanger. He's a singer, phenomenal singer. Uh, my friend Mo uh, Auguste, you know him. He's the kickboxing. He was kickboxing champ. Um, Chaz Palmetieri from, from the Bronx Tale. Myself, a few people. 
So the, the first half of the day, we had the Bloods, and the other half of the day, we had the Crips, because you can't have them in the same room to be a, a riot. The first half, they introduced me. So, oh, this is Vinny Pye, he's a private detective. Nobody would go near my table. Nobody. <laughs> they were afraid. One guy came, oh, no, no. Because yeah. they, they thought of me as a cop or as a rat. Mm. So now, the second half of the day, I got smart. I said, don't introduce me as a private, introduce me as a reality show guy. And they all came over. Mm -hmm. So I see the mentality. Mm -hmm. But yeah, some people would think that because you're getting information on them. Of course. For example, somebody was, uh, somebody was being stalked by a guy, and he's on parole. All right, a guy in Howard Beach. He threatened somebody. It's a long story. So I said, he's on parole? I said, give me his parole officer. A very dear friend of mine was a parole officer. who called him. I'll get him violated because he can't. When you're on parole, you can't do some of the things he was doing. He was mm. trying to shake somebody down. Mm. He threatened this girl. I said, it'll, 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 it'll stop anybody having a, a physical fight with him because someone threatens him. So he threatened somebody. He says, come over here and say it to my face. And, you know, he's a punk. So, no, 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 no. To her, that was being, that was being a rat. To me, that's just a, a tool of my trade. So, you know, sometimes you get somebody, a street guy, and you say, well, why don't you go to the police? Do you, you think wise guys would consider you a rat? No. I, I, I've got a lot of wise guy clients. <laughs> no. No. I got the... Uh, remember, I grew up in Little Italy in the Bronx, okay? So I grew up with some guys. So yeah. they, they'll ask me to do favors. They'll, they'll pay, some of them pay me. So of, wise guys don't like to pay. I don't like... That's why I like work for them. But uh, every once in a while, you know, uh, someone will call, Vinny, can you do me a favor? Uh, mm. My nephew got arrested, and I need, to, you know, I need you to interview some people. Yeah, okay, no problem. But... Um, Nah. When did you figure out this was your calling? You want to you want to laugh? <laughs> when I was in the in the sixth grade in, in grammar school, I was a school crossing guard. You was a what? School crossing guard. Okay. And I had a lieutenant's badge. I thought I was a cop then. <laughs> that was I was ten years so old. The patrol boy badge. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I was seventeen years old. I'm working in the Bronx at a batting range, and I used to give out they put quarters in the machine and the, the balls come and you hit it. Mm -hmm. And it was a miniature golf and an archery. So I used to open up. Uh, I just got my driver's license. I took driver's ed. And um, I used to go there early in the morning, drive, boom, 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 fix the thing. 10 o'clock, people come in. So I had like $70 in quarters in my bag. So I'm, I'm, I'm fixing, I'm working, and all of a sudden this guy comes over and he says, uh, give me your money. He puts a knife in my stomach. I look at it, he takes the bag. I chase him. I took a baseball bat. I chased him. I caught him at the car and I hit him. Huh? I got the money back, he took off. Two years later, I'm driving for a cab company down the block, and my boss's car was stolen. And I'm driving a car at 2 o'clock in the morning, and I got... It is, it's, but I was trying well, to have him finish. I know, Bridget, I was trying to have him how finish. How you not tell us anything? <laughs> I was trying to have him finish. And I got, I, I caught, I caught, I got the car, and uh, I said, you know, you know, and I always liked that yeah. thing. So one day I'm driving, I'm walking down the street, I'm, I'm a manager in Macy's, so, and I see a thing, become a detective for the state of New York.